Okay, welcome. So my name is Angela. I'm going to be doing the show for you guys today. Has anyone ever been to the Illusion show before? Uh, oh, I have. Cool. So you might know all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> and then for anyone that hasn't been here before, this show is just about optical illusions. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you a bunch of cool optical illusions, and then we're going to be figuring out how they work scientifically. And then, you know my name, is Angela. I want to know all your names as well before we start the show. So on the count of three, do you think you guys can yell out your names for me? Does that sound good? Okay, if you don't want to hear it, you can go like this. Okay, one, two, three. Nate. <laughs> that wasn't very loud, you guys, but that's okay. <laughs> I definitely heard all your names individually, and they're all so beautiful, so it's nice to meet everybody. And welcome, okay. So to start the show, what we'd like to do is talk about vision, because we're going to be using our vision to see all these optical illusions today. So there's three different things that we definitely need in order to see. Does anyone want to guess what one of those three things might be? Let's see. I know all the answers. What do you think? I would say sight, oh. vision, vision, and consciousness. That is true. If you need all those things. I think you have something a little bit simpler though. We did, you did say consciousness though, which relates to one of our answers, let's see. So we need our brains in order to see. That's a very, very important part of vision. And that's because our brains help us to understand what it is we're actually looking at. So raise your hand if you want me to bring your brain to the Science Center with you today. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. Okay, well, I will not raise your hand. Raise your hand if you forgot your brain at home or some unknown location. Okay, that's good. Okay, <laughs> so we should be able to see everything here. And then there's two other things that are very, very important for vision. One of them is something that is pretty basic. That, let's see, what do you think of the back here? The eyes? Yeah, we need our eyes, yeah. <laughs> so eyes are very important for vision. We definitely need those. And then there's one last thing that is super important for vision as well. And this is something that isn't in our body. This is something that comes from outside of our body that we use. Let's see, what do you think right here? Light. Light, yes, wonderful. So light is also very important for vision because without light, we can't see anything. So can you guys show me that by closing your eyes for me? Okay, keep them closed so I can steal your wallets. Thank you. Okay, and then with your eyes closed, can you see anything? No. Uh, no. Of course not. Maybe if you look right at a light, you can see a little bit of something. But whenever your eyes are closed, your eyelids are blocking all the light from entering them. They're way up here. <laughs> And then that is keeping all that light that we need to see from entering our eyes. So light is very, very important for vision. So today we're going to be checking all three of these different things. And also before we start, I want to go over our little eye diagram so we can better understand how our vision is being tricked. So whenever we are viewing something with our eyes, first the light has to enter our eye through this part of the eye called the... Pupil. Pupil. Did you guys know that people, there's basically a hole in our eye? Sounds kind of yucky. Yeah. <laughs> and then the pupil, the size of the pupil is determined by the iris. That's the colored part of our eye. That's the part that actually expands and contracts. And then that looks more or less light through the pupil. And that light gets focused by our cornea and by our lens. And then it comes all the way back here. This is a very important part of our eye called the retina. You might have heard of it before. And it has all these little cells in it, which you might have heard of known as rods and cones. So those are also known as photoreceptors. Can you guys say photoreceptor? Photoreceptors. That was very good. Wonderful. So photoreceptors take the light we see and change it to electrical signals, which go through our optic nerve here to our brain. And then our brain figures out all that information and gives us something that we can actually see. So that's a lot of stuff going on, but that all happens in a very, very short amount of time, a split second. And we're going to share that with our first illusion. So for this first illusion, we're going to focus on tricking the light. And for this one, I actually need a volunteer from the audience. 